What if they did this? Like, because obviously there's going to be a glut. We're going to have a lot of QBs getting into the hall, deservedly so. But in order to make room, in the same way they come in and they go, hey, here's your gold jacket. Somebody comes into the booth and takes Troy Aikman's gold jacket. Why is this your it. thing? Why? I, 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 mine is Bob Greasy. Bob Greasy is the obvious one. I take Greasy's, I guess, before Aikman's. But every time I see Aikman's 165 career touchdown passes, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. 165? What is that? Three seasons for Peyton Manning? There are exceptions that prove every rule, but let's not argue too hard against Troy Aikman, right? Went into the stick and vanquished the mighty Niners. That's at the top of his resume, but come on. Spaghetti, how many touchdown passes does Eli Manning have? Career? He has 366, which is 10. <laughs> he so, has. I, I he did catch Shaq trying to put. 101 more, more yeah. touchdowns. I he did has, catch Shaq trying to put Eli and Aikman in the same combo, and I was like, no, he has a whole career more than him. This is the question Do Lombardis erase everything else? Like that Apparently, for get, Bob Greasy, they do. But, like, so if Trent Dilfer had best three completion percentage one year, I love when people get in my social media to, to update me on what Bob Greasy did against the rest of the league in terms of completion percentage and crap like that. Bob Greasy was a passenger. He threw four total passes over two Super Bowl championship runs. There were five games or thereabouts. He threw four total passes in those two postseason runs. I'm, I'm not positive about the numbers, but it's close to that. It's I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay. He, okay, he threw but, for okay, literally so, like 85 okay. yards a game in so those two you're, years. So you're acknowledging that the two Lombardis does not automatically get you in. But three does. Well, I mean, that's just kind of what you're saying. As long as we're maintaining the Bob Greasy is a Hall of Fame standard, then Jim Plunkett belongs in the Hall of Fame. And then it becomes laughable to bring up the name Eli Manning. It's like, Man, I don't know if he deserves it. Once you have Bob Greasy in there, Jim Plunkett is the obstacle. The reason people bring up Eli Manning is like, I don't know if he deserves it is because of Jim Plunkett. That's why. Because it makes no sense. There is a new standard set since they decided to not put the guy who took the Raiders to not one, but two Super Bowl crowns and won an MVP. All right. I'll give you that. I'll say, look, we're going to we're gonna take Greasy's gold jacket. It's basically like, hey, we, we need it to give to these more deserving players. We need your gold jacket. But there's that, only so much gold cloth. Yeah. You got to understand, Bob. But that action of taking Greasy's gold jacket is what puts Aikman on alert. 